Hi guys, welcome back to Deepak's Daily Reading and today we're going to be talking about $100 million leads from Alex Hormozzi. So this chapter relates to employees and yeah, lots of really interesting insights from Hormozzi. So it's about how to build a very, very effective team, which of course is very pertinent to the work that I do within the Pearl Lemon Group. So one concept to consider is Maybe I could do one thing better than my employees, but I couldn't do everything better than my employees. And Hormozzi talks about in the beginning, feeling that, well, I can do everything more effectively, so I might as well do everything, but that being a limited mindset and that he needed to understand that actually people have been doing this for decades before I was doing it. So clearly there's people that can do it better than myself. And the principle or the reframe that you need to have in your mind is, well, if I can do this well, clearly someone else can do it even better because there's always someone better out there. And the next thing is if you want something done right, then get everyone to spend their time doing it. So if something needs to be done right and the person that you're asking to do it isn't doing it correctly, then have them have a... Uh, now, I, I will add that some of these things, if you were to read it, you wouldn't exactly find it within the book directly, but I build upon his thoughts and think about how it both applies to Pearl Lemon and an expansion of that idea. So if you want something done right, then get everyone to spend their time doing it. So specifically, if for example, I wanted Shanae who helps manage the leads within the catering business, if I want her to handle the leads excellently, there's value in making her just work on that intensely for several days because it will quickly improve her standard. And then I'm much more likely to get that result from her. So a lot of it is about a period of intense focus to bring your general level up and then you can pull back. So that's a really interesting concept because I, I think that we don't as a company definitely do that. So there's some value in, 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 in having people focus intensely on something to accelerate their progress outside of intermittent learning and phase learning etc so everyone is replaceable especially me so that's a really nice concept as well and one of the things that i'm beginning to do now is to try and empower people to make decisions without me and to give them a little bit of a process of how to think about solving those problems but then also who to go to before they come to me to solve those problems and then also telling them to before I would have said Google it, now I say ChatGPT or Bard it. So that's also something that's interesting. The next concept is document, demonstrate, duplicate. So you document your process down to the letter with a checklist, but then, and this is the interesting part, you attempt to follow your own checklist to the letter without deviating. And then you discover the gaps in your checklist, the gaps in your process, because how well does it work if you follow it without deviation? And you'll often find almost always, especially depending upon how much experience that you've got or insights you bring to it, that there'll be lots and lots of small things that you do do that don't exist within that documentation. So that's why you need to document it and then you need to demonstrate it to yourself vis-a-vis -vis the documentation, discover where the discrepancies are, and then as a consequence, you improve the documentation. So this is a circular loop that you go through yourself until you get the documentation to a stage where you think you can demonstrate it in front of somebody else. And then you fundamentally can see if that person can then duplicate the activity and then the result that you got. But what most people miss out, and this is to include myself, that we document something, but we don't really go back and follow what we've documented to demonstrate to ourselves that the documentation is correct. So that was really interesting for me. And he says you might need to do this multiple times to get the checklist right. The next element is, and this makes me realize in some respects that I'm too soft. This is specifically in relation to lead getting. So it would be salespeople effectively. If someone isn't performing at generating leads after three weeks, you should cut them. So this is displaying, some would call it ruthlessness others would call it perhaps pragmatism but yeah it's interesting that with proper training and support if people aren't performing after a couple of weeks they're unlikely to be able to perform so that's just also interesting 
The next element is that if you disappear tomorrow, could a stranger get the level of results that you get tomorrow just following your checklist? So that's again in relation to how good is your documentation, e myth style, how good are you at building processes, how effective is your teaching? So, what's really interesting is the, and that's I guess what's reassuring and not in a way with myself, that what's reassuring is that a lot of this relates to how effective a teacher are you? How well can you teach others to get the same result that you're getting? And if you're unable to teach people, is, there prob is the problem with the, the teaching, the documentation? So certainly in my case, I don't review the training that I'll give someone, but then equally now what I'm taking from this, as well as the book High Performance is empowering the people around me and tr entrusting them by giving them a high level goal. So one of the things I've done with the video team is to say, look, I was giving you quantitative goals before, produce X videos per week, but now it's qualitative. And I'm also including actual financial goals saying, if you are able to generate B2B leads for these businesses, the food and beverage side, as well as Pearl Lemon SEO, lead generation, etc." then I'll give you $500. These guys are based in the Philippines. $500 is, 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 is significant. $500 is great anyway, I would hope. And now the goal is really to produce B2B inquiries through YouTube. So entrusting people to figure out the path and the way and to build a process around it because I wouldn't be the perfect person to build that process anyway, just because I don't know enough, which again relates to the truth that everyone is replaceable, especially me. So, so that's something that's an important consideration. And then the money that you get in needs to be four times the total cost of salaries plus the cost of acquisition. So what is the cost of generating a catering lead or an SEO lead? What is the cost of your sales team to close the deal with commission plus salaries? What is the cost to deliver the project? Taking all of those together and then looking at are you getting in four times that cost? three times he says it needs to at least be to really scale so so that's just something else that's interesting so these are the important takeaways from the book on employees in a hundred million dollar league hey guys it's Deepak Shukla here I am huge on listening to books on audible so if you're interested in getting all of the insights as I discover them through the course of all the books I read please please do comment like and of course subscribe so that you get notified every time we release a video. Thank you so much and I hope to hear from you soon.